Welcome to question 6 of the 2018 Mathematical Methods Exam 1 for the Northern Hemisphere. In this video we will be looking at the solution to this question. A reminder that this video is in no way endorsed by VCAR. For question 6 we're told that the discrete random variable x has a probability mass function described as shown. For part A we're asked to show that k equals 1 on 12. So before we go too far into this question, we need to recall that it is a discrete random variable and that a common mistake was likely that people thought that this was a continuous random variable based on the way it had been defined. However, it is only discrete with x equaling 1, 4, 6 and 3 being the four discrete values that x can take. So we could create our own table with the x values of 1, 3, 4 and 6 and then we can calculate the probabilities that capital X equals X. So reading off the probability mass function that's given, we have that if X is equal to 1, the probability that X equals 1 is simply K times X, so that's just K. If K equals 4, we apply the same rule, so it's K times 4, which is 4K. And if K equals 6, we have 6 times K is 6K. And the last value of X, which is 3, just gives a value of k as well. So now that we have this table, we know that the sum of all of these probabilities must equal 1. So therefore, k plus k plus 4k plus 6k must equal 1. And if you add that up, you get 12k equals 1. Therefore, we find k equals 1 divided by 12, which is what we were asked to show. So now that we know that k is 1 over 12, this would simply be 1 over 12, this would be 1 over 12, this would be 4 over 12, and 6 times 1 over 12 is 6 over 12. So they would be the four probabilities that we need to work with. So we've got that shown in this table here, and we can now move on to part B where we're asked to find the expected value of x. And we need to remember that the expected value of x has a formula which is on the formula sheet, and that is that we take the sum of x times p of x. So we take the x value and multiply it by its probability, and then we add all of those together. So therefore, for this question, our expected value of x is going to equal 1 times 1 over 12, plus 3 times 1 over 12, plus 4 times 4 over 12, plus 6 times 6 over 12. And now simplifying that down, we get that that's equal to 1 on 12, plus 3 on 12, plus 16 on 12, plus 36 on 12. And now we can continue to simplify that. So we have 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 16 is 20, plus 36 is 56 over 12. So simplifying that once more, we can see that 4 is a common factor of both which is going to give us 14 over 3. And that is the simplified value for the expected value of x. So for part C, we're asked to evaluate the probability that x is greater than or equal to 3. So if I do that in yellow, x is greater than or equal to 3 is all of this, given that x is greater than or equal to 2. But being greater than or equal to 2 in this distribution is simply being 3, 4 or 6 as well. So therefore the probability that x is greater than or equal to 3 given x is greater than or equal to 2 is equal to the probability of the intersection which is x is greater than or equal to 3 divided by the probability that x is greater than or equal to 2 we know those two things are equal. In fact, they're both 11 over 12 if you add up those probabilities. So 11 divided by 12 divided by that same fraction simply gives a value of 1. So the probability for that conditional event is 1. 